Good evening. Hello. Hello, everyone. How are you today? Uh, all right. Can you listen to me? Yes. Yeah, perfect. That's really good. Uh, well, as far as I remember, you're basic English students, right? Is that right? Uh, yes, teacher. Yeah, excellent. So you are new in the business, right? <laughs> you are new in learning a, a second language, right? That's fantastic. You know, uh, I would try to introduce myself, okay, in English. And I would say my name, of course, and I would say hello to everybody. And then we are going to start with the lesson, all right? Uh, congratulations, because you are on time. <laughs> you are on time, it's eight, it's eight o'clock, and that's fantastic, okay? I have different people here. I have Jose, I have Kenny, I have Irving, Norma, Jose Luis just came into the class, Wilson, and Yvette, right? And I'm still waiting for some other people. As far as I know, uh, you are like 30 people, right, in the group, and that is fantastic. Don't worry, I will switch into Spanish, but a little bit uh, late, all right? So, you know, I will start, let me see, it's eight o'clock, eight o'clock. So time for me is uh, quite important, okay? I will let you know. I will start uh, saying my name. I will, I will share some information that I have prepared, uh, okay? And if you have any question, then you can, you, you can you can ask, right? You can ask in case you have any question. All right? Can you see the information there? Uh, yes, teacher. Yeah, all yes, right. So, so we're gonna set the rules, okay? We're gonna set the rules so that we can have a great time together and that you and me learn from this course, all right? And well, as you can see over here, my name is Enrique. Ernesto, okay, E is for Ernesto, and my last name is Morales, okay. Uh, you know, I am a, a licenciado in idioma inglés, and I will be your teacher, um, I don't know, for about, um, I don't know exactly the time, but I think it will be like for at least one month. All right, so it's a pleasure for me to be here and to and to um, meet new people, for me, is quite important, okay? So you can call me Teacher Kike. <laughs> the majority of people call me Teacher Kike, okay? Teacher Kike, or if you don't feel like, like saying or calling me like that, you can say uh, Mr. Morales, okay? Hello, Mr. Morales, I have a question, et cetera, okay? Um, you know, uh, I have something to tell you about the WhatsApp group. You know, the WhatsApp group is, is a, it's a group that was assigned or that was created for me to share some videos that you can see uh, when we are not in this class, right? So that you can reinforce uh, something about English. Okay, that is the purpose in case you have any questions sometimes uh, for me, I don't know, for me it will be difficult, okay, to be like uh, keeping in touch with you, but I will do my best. All right. Then we have over here, I, I, I will switch into Spanish because this is quite important. Bueno, le decía en, en inglés um, que mi nombre es Enrique Ernesto Morales y tengo la bendición, la dicha de tener este grupo. Entiendo, es un básico tres, ¿verdad? Y este, acá vamos a hablar acerca de algunas situaciones que son sumamente importantes que las platiquemos antes de iniciar el curso. Eh, ya poco a poco los voy a ir conociendo, ¿ok? Eh, y vamos a ir empezando a interactuar. Solamente tenemos una hora y vamos a tratar de sacarle provecho a esta hora, ¿ok? Eh, les voy a solicitar que por favor cuando estén en la, en, en la sesión traten de estar 100% concentrados en la misma 
traten de evitar que no haya eh, algún tipo de interrupción porque eso pues quiera sí o no les va a este, cortar su, su atención a la clase. Miren, acá hay algunas tareas y algunas evaluaciones que yo creo que ya ustedes están conscientes de cómo eh, se, se trabaja con, con el programa, pero es bueno recordarlo. Es muy importante que ustedes obtengan un 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar su curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma y se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase. Puede adelantar el contenido, que es algo que yo realmente recomiendo, perdón, realmente recomiendo porque de esa manera cuando ustedes entran a las clases ya tienen este, algún conocimiento o ya se han familiarizado con lo que nosotros vamos este, a, a trabajar. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completos antes de cada viernes. Para nosotros es bien importante que ustedes lo completen antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. Eh, Tenemos algún material de apoyo que será compartido a criterio de mi persona. Ok, lo que les decía yo en el grupo de, de WhatsApp, pues yo... Yo tengo la libertad de compartir algún material que yo considere que es necesario que ustedes repasen. Y las tareas y las evaluaciones pues se mueven de la siguiente manera. En la plataforma ahí encontramos diferentes secciones. ¿okay? Y en, en esta nuestra primera semana tenemos que cubrir lo que es la sección 1 y la sección 2. La próxima semana cubriremos lo que es la sección 3 y tendremos un midterm. En la semana 3 tendré, cubriremos la, la sección 4 y en la semana 4 eh, terminaremos con la sección 5 y un examen final. Eh, hay algunas normas de convivencia que me interesa mucho que las platiquemos, ¿verdad? Eh, si alguien no está participando en la reunión o en la actividad que estemos desarrollando, es necesario que ponga su botón en silencio, ¿verdad? Su micrófono en silencio para que no, se haya, que no haya mucha interferencia en la clase. Se pasará una lista de asistencia todas las noches, ¿ok? Para este, verificar que todos están en la clase. Eh, por favor, colocar en, en su colocar en, en, en Zoom su nombre completo, ¿ok? O por lo menos un nombre y un, y un apellido para que yo los pueda identificar. La cámara sí les voy a solicitar que por favor la tengan siempre activada, ¿ok? Y, para yo poder este, también saber cómo, cómo ustedes eh, se expresan, ¿ok? Sus gestos muchas veces... Me dicen a mí que algo no va muy bien o que algo va súper bien. Para mí es importante ver sus caritas y ver que pues estamos aprendiendo. Eh, es necesario que todos participemos. Esto es muy, muy, muy necesario porque mientras más practiquemos el idioma, mucho más vamos a aprender y vamos a, a sentirnos más cómodos utilizando el mismo. ¿verdad? Pueden usar el chat. Ok, pueden usar, eh, levantar su mano cuando tengan alguna duda y pueden, ah, perdón, y deben o les pediría, les solicitaría que siempre mantengamos un ambiente de, de respeto, ¿verdad? Que nos, que nos apoyemos mutuamente y que se apoyen eh, más que todo entre ustedes porque recordemos que aprender un idioma pues necesita, necesitamos del apoyo de todos, ¿verdad? Eh, se nos solicita o se le solicita que por favor eh, asistan a las sesiones en por lo menos en un 80% de las clases. Eh, cuando entramos a MIT, eh, MIT eh, automáticamente eh, registra eh, los minutos que ustedes están dentro de la sesión. Y eso lo coloca en, en una tablita que, que nosotros vamos completando. 
El avance y el desarrollo de la plataforma de aprendizaje, pues como les decía, es necesario que si ustedes consideran y tienen el espacio de tiempo para adelantar con algunas cosas, investigar acerca de la temática, pronunciación, etcétera, que lo hagan, que to se tomen la libertad de hacerlo. Ahora iniciamos nuestra primera sesión y los horarios ya los tenemos claros, que siempre vamos a estar de lunes a jueves de 8 a, a, a 9 de la noche, ¿verdad? Eh, se nos hace nuevamente la, el llamado a tener nuestra cámara encendida y las sesiones tienen una duración de 60 minutos. Hi, teacher, good night. Hey, good evening, good evening, welcome. Welcome, Thanks, welcome. Este, es necesario trabajar eh, 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 que ustedes obtengan su diploma. Eso es, que ustedes vayan avanzando. Y lo más importante para mí como docente es que ustedes mismos vayan viendo sus logros. No, es, no hay nada más satisfactorio para un docente ver que sus estudiantes van creciendo en, en un aprendizaje. En este caso, el aprendizaje de un segundo idioma. Las actividades, pues vamos a tratar que sean variadas. Eh, vamos a tener actividades de escucha, de habla, de lectura y de escritura. ¿okay? Si bien no vamos a completar o vamos a tratar de, de abordar cada, cada una de ellas, pero eh, por supuesto vamos a, a tratar también de trabajar no solo durante la clase, sino también este, en los tiempos que ustedes consideren pertinentes. Tendremos actividades individuales, actividades en pareja, actividades en grupo. Y ahí con eso termino y vamos a tratar de dar inicio a la clase de ahora. Poco a poco yo voy a ir mencionando algunos de ustedes y cuando yo los mencione ustedes se presentan y entiendo que entre ustedes sí ya todos se conocen, ¿verdad? El que es nuevo acá soy yo. Estoy, estoy en lo correcto. No, no todos se conocen. Pues, no, no todos. Entonces vamos a tener la oportunidad de conocer. Hey, how are you? Hey, lo siento si les estoy quitando un poquito el tiempo con, con mi español, pero es necesario que dejemos claro eh, cómo vamos a estar trabajando durante, durante este curso. Ok, así que les doy la bienvenida al curso y... Vamos a trabajar, ¿ok? Vamos a trabajar, ¿está bien? Voy a tratar que todos participen para que puedan decir su nombre y este, puedan de alguna manera, este, podamos de alguna manera empezar a conocernos, ¿ok? All right, so I will, I will stop this part and now I can see everybody here. Uh, you know, I will check the list of tenants again at the end because, well, right now I have like, let me see, 24 people. And as far as I know, you are 30 people, right? You are 30 people. I have Alba, I have uh, Alma Yvette, Carlos, uh, Cecibel, Christopher, Diana, Fatima, Gloria, Hector, Iris, Irving, Jorge, Jorge David, Jose Enrique, Jose Luis. Jose Oscar, Julio César, Catherine, Catherine Roxana, Kenia, eh, Katie, Norma, Rebeca, Reina, Salvador, Sandra, Silvia, Susana, Wilson, and Jenny. So that is the list that I have here. And you know what? Let us get down to business. We are going to start, okay? We are going to start. Are you ready? Are you yes, ready? Teacher. I am ready. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. That's Wait, fantastic. teacher. Now, oh, okay. Now, pay attention. I will try to do my best effort so that you understand everything I, 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 I will try to teach, okay? So in case you don't get it, in case you don't understand everything at once, so you can say, you can raise your hand. And then you say, hey, teacher, I'm so sorry, but I don't understand. Could you please help me? Okay, and we're gonna work in that way. So we are going to start, you know, remember we only have one hour and we got to, or we have to uh, start working. Okay, uh, I will share the information over here. 
Okay, this is a platform, right? So you are very familiarized with it. Is that right? This is the platform. All right. And you know what? Uh, I have the, the, the lesson objective or the lesson, I mean the, the lesson result. And it says, I, I will read it as you can see over here. It is in English, right? But if you don't get everything in English, you have it in Spanish, all right? So meanwhile, I read this in English. You can listen to me and at the same time, you can read it in Spanish, all right? And then you say, ah, now that I know, now I know what the learning result is all about. It says, by the end of this class, you will learn the months and dates, all right? Months and dates. Additionally, you will learn, uh, you will learn about holiday, about birthday. I'm sorry, about birthday. All right, so you, you see the topic is quite, it's quite interesting, right? So to, to know about the dates in English. And I have a video. In this video, also you can see that we have everything that's in Spanish over here. And we're going to learn some, some months, I mean the months of the year, and we're going to learn uh, some ordinal numbers, okay? until the 31st, because in the calendar, we have like those numbers in months, all right? Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, all right, yes. so are you ready? listen carefully. Whenever you, whenever you see the video, and when you listen to the audio, they try to keep uh, very concentrated because you have to get the right pronunciation of the words. Hey, and let's see what's going on with it. Let's see. I will, let me see if I can make it bigger. Okay. Uh, it's, it's better now. No. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn the months and dates. Additionally, you'll learn about birth dates. Let's get started by listening and practicing the months and all right, so you know you you have your microphone is not activated; it's deactivated, right? So you can practice by your own, okay? When you listen to um to the guy like like seeing the the pronunciation of the words, then you can repeat at home, okay? Because at the end, I will ask some of you to repeat. I mean, to 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 say or to name them. All right, here we go. Date. Practice the months Let's and the practice. dates. Month. Months. January. January. Okay. I hope that February. you're reading at, at home. February. March. March. April. April. May. May. June. June. July. July. August. August. September. September. October. October. November. November. December. December. All right. I will stop it over there and then you you will tell me what's going on with it. Okay. Uh is is Alba over here? Alba, are you here? Alba Luz, can you please tell me that? Tell me that the sí. month of the year. January. January. February. February. March. March. April. April. May. June. June. July. July. August. August. September. September. October. October. November. 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 Wow, fantastic. November. Congrats. Congrats. Congratulations. I hope everybody is like practicing at home. Uh, I will I will let you I will let you know about this. ¿Qué es lo que hace? Eh, por ejemplo, a un, a un futbolista ser profesional. La práctica. ¿Qué es lo que hace a un boxeador ser un profesional? La práctica, el ejercicio. ¿Qué es lo que hace a un nadador ser un profesional? La práctica, el ejercicio. Y nosotros que estamos aprendiendo inglés, va a suceder lo mismo. Si nosotros practicamos en casita, con, si, si el teacher no me está pidiendo que yo participe con mi micrófono activado, eso no quiere decir que ustedes no lo están practicando en casa, ¿verdad? Es necesario que todos lo practiquemos, porque yo voy a estar pidiendo 
la participación de cada uno de ustedes eh, muy seguido. Ok, entonces necesito que todos practiquemos. Ok, eh, les voy a pedir también que cuando, como esta es nuestra primera sesión, es, es bueno que, que se saluden entre ustedes y, y pueden decir su nombre. Hello everybody, my name is, and they say your name. Mi nombre es eh, fulano de tal y me gusta que me digan y ya dicen ustedes cómo, ¿verdad? En mi caso, my name is Enrique and you can call me Kike, teacher Kike. All right? Okay, let's, let's move on with the next part. Vamos con la otra parte. Here we go. Now, dates. we have some dates, right? So actually, these, these, these are called ordinal numbers, and they are very useful when providing dates. Here we go. First. First. Second. Second. Third. Third. Fourth. Fourth. Fifth. Fifth. Sixth. Sixth. Seventh. Seventh. Eighth. Eighth. Ninth. Ninth. Tenth. Tenth. Eleventh. Eleventh. Twelfth. Twelfth. Thirteenth. Thirteenth. Fourteenth. Fourteenth. Fifteenth. Fifteenth. Sixteenth. Sixteenth. Seventeenth. Seventeenth. Eighteenth. Eighteenth. Nineteenth. Nineteenth. Twentieth. 20th, 21st, 21st, 22nd, 22nd, 23rd, 23rd, 24th, 24th, 25th, 25th, 26th, 26th, 27th, 27th, 28th, 28th, 29th, 29th, 30th, 30th, 31st, 31st. All right, so far so good? So far so good? Hey, what I say? So far, so good. Cuando yo digo so far, so good, hasta, hasta aquí todo bien. So far, so good. Good. All right. That's fantastic. Teacher, All right. Teacher. Yeah. That's eh, la, la pronunciación al final, ¿cómo es? Ah, that's a really good question because, you know, no problems with first, first. Now, who's asking? That's Jenny. Jenny, right? Yes, teacher. All right, Jenny. That's a really good question, right? So, Jenny, uh, you are going to help me. Open your microphone, please. Open your microphone. Activate your microphone. Now, Jenny, you will repeat after me, okay? And we are going to serve as an example for the rest, okay? Now, if I say, Jenny, can you please repeat after me first? First. 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 Hey, I want to see your mouth. Everybody have to repeat. I mean, you you don't have your microphone activated, but I can see if you are just practicing the information or not. Okay, first. First. Second. Second. Third. Third. Fourth. Fourth. Y acá viene, acá creo que es donde usted tiene la duda, donde está la TH. Entonces, estos son números ordinales, ¿ok? Que nos van a servir para escribir la fecha, para dar las fechas. Entonces, es sumamente importante que nosotros los practiquemos cuantas veces sean necesarias para aprender la pronunciación. Entonces, si usted escucha four, ese es solo el número cuatro. Four, four. Pero para que sea cuarto, que es el número ordinal que nosotros queremos aprender ahora, tiene una TH. Si usted se fija, el que tiene el, el, el first termina en ST, por eso el número al final tiene el ST. Second termina en ND y por eso el número tiene una ND a, al lado. Third, lo mismo, tenemos una RD acá. Pero cuando llegamos al cuarto, first, first. En inglés, en inglés, no es igual que en español. Nosotros decimos el 1 de mayo. Pero en inglés decimos May the 1st. O si yo digo el 4 de mayo, May the 4th. Y la pronunciación, 4th. 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 
fifth, fifth, sixth, sixth, seventh. Seven. Estoy, estoy tratando de exagerarlo para que ustedes eh, escuchen cómo se pronuncia. Eighth. Eighth. O sea que el sonido sería como entre la lengua y los dientes. Los dientes superiores, exacto. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahí, ahí vamos. ¿Ok? Eh, ¿Quién me quiere ayudar? No, mejor voy a, voy, a, voy a llamar a alguno que me ayude. Christopher Raúl. Christopher Raúl nos va a leer la primera columna. ¿Ok? ¿Es Christopher right here? Hello, Christopher, are you there? Hello, hello. Hello, Christopher. Hey, hey, is Chris, no, is Christopher not over here? Ok. So let me see. Diana Gabriela. Hi, teacher. Hello, Diana. It's a pleasure to meet you. Diana, can Thank you please you. can you please read this column or this part? Okay. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. All right, that's really good. Okay. Thank now you. that's fantastic. That's that was really nice. Uh, what about Hector? Hello, Hector. Can you please hello, help me? Teacher. Hello. hello. Hello, buddy. Can you please help me with the second part? Hello, teacher. All right. Okay. 11th. Good. 12th. Good. 13th. All right. 14th. Uh, uh, okay. So try to make emphasis now because, because of the exercise, right? Try to make emphasis at the end, right? 14th. 14th. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, go ahead. 14th. Good. 15th. Good. 16th. All right. 17th. 18th. 19th. 20th. 20th. All right, 20th. Pretty good. 20th. That's That was really okay. nice. That was Thank really you. nice. All right, that's fantastic. Let me see. Let us try with... Hey, Katie, is Katie in the class? Katie, can you please help me with the third part? Okay, seems as if Katie is not over here. What about Norma? Hello, Norma? No, I can see Ceci very Hello, here. teacher. Uh, okay, now yes, Norma, hello. Thanks for activating the camera. Remember, it's quite important for me to see that you are over there. Can you please help me, Norma, with the third part? Uh, 21st. All right. 22nd. Uh, 23rd. 24th. 25th. 26th. 27th. 28th. 29th. 20, perdón, 30. 30th, all right. 30th, 31st. 31st, good. Hey, you know, what I really, what really like about this platform is that you can see the video as many times as you wish, right? And let us try to continue now because, you know, how to talk we have about your birthday. Now, let us see how what's going on on the way to provide information on, on your birthday. Here we go. The question is, when is your birthday? That is the question, right? So you gotta be ready. My when is your birthday? Birthday is on April 5th. All right. Now I will stop it over there because now, yes, I will ask your birthday. Okay. I will ask your birthday and then you tell me. Something that you, could, you, you have to be aware of is that the question is when is your birthday when when right and then you say my birthday is on on april 5th let us try let us try they want to try quieren que tratemos ya de que nos que me digan su cumpleaños cuando es su cumpleaños si no si si es un secreto si es un secreto su cumpleaños Pueden decirnos otra fecha. Lo importante es que 
nos digan eh, cómo se dice la fecha de un cumpleaños, ¿ok? La pregunta es, when is your birthday? ¿Cuándo es tu cumpleaños? Voy a elegir a 10 personas así, randomly, al azar, randomly, para que me digan cuándo es su cumpleaños. Ya practicamos lo que son los números ordinales, ya practicamos lo que son los meses del año. All right? Now, let's see. Eh, let me see, I have eh, Reina Concepción. When is your birthday, Reina? My birthday is on September 28th. 28th. Perfect. Perfect. Now you see. I, I know this group's going to be, wow, you're going to learn really fast. Yo sé que van a aprender súper rápido. Lo estoy viendo en un poquito tiempo que, los, que, que he empezado a interactuar con ustedes. Julio Cesar, could you please tell me about your birthday? When's your birthday, Julio Cesar? I wonder if Julio Cesar is over here. Otherwise, I will ask another person. Eh, Jose Oscar? Good evening, teacher. Hey, hello. Good evening, Jose. My birthday is on March 20th. 20th. Uh, 20th. March? 20th. It's on March. March. All right, March, that's really good. My birthday is on March 20th. 20th, perfect. That was perfect. Okay. Now, you know what? Hey, hey. Jose, <laughs> now ask the question to somebody else in the group. Hágale usted la pregunta a alguien más en el grupo. Okay. Uh, um, I, don't, I don't know the, the name the my... Uh, you, you don't know partner. their names. Okay, <laughs> ask for example, ask for example, let me see. Jenny Carolina, ask, ask Jenny Carolina. Okay. Say, hello, Jenny. Uh, hey. Hello, Jenny Carolina. Uh, when is hello. your birthday? Uh, my birthday is on April 7th. Fantastic. Simple like that. Okay, thanks. <laughs> hey, both series great tonight. I mean, están haciendo un trabajo super, super bueno. Uh, let me see. Jenny, can, could you please ask somebody else in the group? Okay. Uh, no sé si está Andrea Nicole. Uh, Andrea Nicole. Is Andrea Nicole over here? Oh, Jorge Alberto. Creo que tenía un compañero que se llamaba Jorge Alberto. I'm oh, here, Jenny. All right, Jorge. very good. <laughs> Jorge, when is your birthday? And my birthday is on March 4th. Oh, fantastic. George, oh, I'm sorry, Jorge. Uh, uh, Jorge, how would you like to be addressed? ¿Cómo le gustaría que le, le, cómo le gusta que le llamen? Jorge, algunos, algunos le gusta que le digan George, pero no sé si ese es su caso. Um, Alberto está bien. Oh, Albert, Al Alberto is all right. Pretty good. Albert. Okay, yeah. that's fantastic. Albert? Albert también. All sí. right, so Albert, so uh, nice to meet you, Albert. Al, uh, nice Albert, to meet you. Uh, could you please um, ask a question about birthday to Susana? I, I wonder oh. if Susana is here. Yes, oh. I'm here. All right, okay. Susana is here. Uh, Susana, when is your birthday? My birthday is October 9th. All right. What's going on with that? R really nice. Susana, you have a great pronunciation, but you missed something. What did you miss? My birthday is... My birthday is October is, 9th. Is, is on... Is on October. October 9th. All right. Now, I will clarify mm -hmm. something about uh, providing the date of your birthday. Cuando ustedes eh, dan su, su fecha de cumpleaños, en realidad hay dos maneras de hacerlo. En este caso, tenemos on porque estamos dando la fecha exacta. Pero si solo quisiéramos decir 
que el cumpleaños de esa persona es en abril, también lo pueden hacer. Pero en ese caso, quitaríamos el, este número y le pondríamos in, in, ya no sería on. All right. I think in the video. Creo que en el video lo explica un poquito más adelante la persona. All right. So we will continue. We are going to try to move on. To Vamos a tratar de, de adelantar. Birthdays or to express any particular date. We can follow this next formula. That's special day plus the verb to be plus the preposition on plus month plus the date. Let's put that formula into practice. My birthday is on April 5th. The special day is my birthday. Then we include the verb to be is. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month April. Uh, finally, we include the date fifth. Let me give one more example. When is Independence Day in the US? Independence Day is on July 4th. The uh, special day is Independence Day. Then we include the verb to be is. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month July. And finally, we include the date 4th. Now it's your turn to practice by expressing the special days or holidays from your country. For example, New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, Independence Day, or Christmas. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forum. All right. So uh, let me see. I'm so sorry. Uh, so sorry. So sorry. Well. Now, uh, 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 as you could see, there is a part at the end, right, that's asking you to, 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 to share the information about the New Year's Day, right? Uh, when is, for example, Valentine's Day? When is the Independence Day? And when, when is Christmas, right? When's Christmas, okay? So that is something that you have to work on. Okay, and share the information in, oops, sorry, I will share it once again. Let's see. Okay, it's over here. Okay, and you have to share it. Or you have to share the information over there. Okay. Wow, some people started working on it, right? Some people started working on it. Okay, when's your when's your birthday? You know, birthday. You gotta type it in the right way. My birthday is on September the fourteenth. And something that you you have to keep into consideration is also that. Uh, the months are written with capital letter at the beginning. Todos los días de la semana en inglés y los meses, pues son escritos con mayúscula al inicio. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, let us go over a video. Okay. This is the one, 101. We're going to go over this part. Okay. We have another objective, and the objective is. At the end of the class, you will learn how to ask and answer just no questions using going to. Additionally, uh, you will practice a conversation about birthday plans. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. And we have the video right over here. 
Now, you know, since we are talking about dates and uh, birth dates, so we're going to get a situation about it. Listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer yes or no questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about birthday plans, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Happy Birthday. Let's listen and practice. Happy Birthday. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. And the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Now let's analyze the examples from the chart. The future with be going to. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're going to sing Happy Birthday. No, they aren't. But they're going to give me a cake. We you all right, so we're going to get back, okay? Because I need to... I, I, I need that you uh, see Use the information. Over here, okay, uh, about about the conversation, all right? So I have, uh, can you just tell me um, where can we, where, where do we have like uh, the, the going to structure? As you can see over here, we have the first one over here. Are you going, oops, sorry. Are you, I will try to make it, Thinner. Uh, you know, I have over here the structure. Are you going to? Are you going to? Where can you see going to once again? ¿A dónde ven esa estructura otra vez? En la de abajo. Oh, ah, en, la, en la parte donde está Philip, en la segunda. ¿Dónde? ¿Cómo dice? When, well, I, I'm going. Okay, well. I'm going. All right. So we have the second one. Uh -huh. Is there another one? Mm, Angie, um, nice. Is she going to? No, 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 no. I see. Is she uh, going to order a cake? All right. So we have going to once again. Is there another one? Eh, abajo, donde dice order of cake. Yeah, and. Mm -hmm. Waiters are probably going to sing. All right, so we have going to once again. Uh, I think you missed one. Creo que les faltó una. ¿Dónde está? Kayla is going to take. Sarah is going to go ahead, my friend Kayla. Uh, oh, oh, all right, so this is a one, right? It's going to. Okay, mom. Uh, all right, so that's fantastic. So the first thing that we have to do is to recognize. Primero, lo que vamos a hacer es reconocer qué es lo que vamos a practicar. Okay, ya ustedes lo identifican. Going to. Eso es, uh, es una estructura que nos va a servir para hablar del futuro. Okay, para hablar de planes. Y vamos a escucharlo nuevamente para que ustedes se den cuenta. Okay, este, let me see. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Okay, now yes, now that you, that you recognize it, ya que lo reconocieron. Vamos este, a practicar un poco. Okay, so, uh, are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? So I hope that, that, you, that you are like repeating there. Espero que repitan ustedes allá en casa. Are you going to do anything exciting this week?
well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So what are your plans? Well, my friend Kyla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. To me. It's so embarrassing. Uh, okay, now let's see. I will try to I will try to uh, play once again. Ok, this is going to be the last time. Y espero que ustedes lo practiquen en casa, ok. El día de mañana yo voy a pedir a dos personas que nos lo, nos lo, eh, nos lo digan, ¿verdad? Quiero ver cómo es, si ustedes han practicado eh, la conversación. Vamos Happy a terminar birthday. de ver este video, ok. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Okay, let's see. Now let's analyze the examples from the chart. The future with be going to. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're going to sing happy birthday. No, they aren't. But they're going to give me a cake. We use be going to to talk about future events. Let's learn to form statements using be going to to talk about future events. We can follow this formula to express the future with be going to. Subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples from the chart. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. These examples are contracted, by the way. In order to illustrate these examples, I will do it without contractions. I is the subject. Next, we have the verb to be, am. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb celebrate. Finally, we add my birthday. Let's analyze one more example. She's going to invite all my friends. The subject is she. Next, we have the verb to be is. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb invite. Finally, we add a compliment, all my friends. All right. Let me show you how to form yes or no questions. Now that was that was to. like forming a uh, positive that, statement. So here formula. we're gonna get like a the different structure. Plus the subject. Plus going to. Plus the verb. Plus compliment. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Okay, just for you to be clear about it. Now, we are learning how to how to create statements with going to. Estamos viendo cómo crear oraciones con going to. 
La primera parte, pues si ustedes se fijaron, al inicio iba un sujeto, de ahí iba el verbo, eh, perdón, el auxiliar con tú, de ahí este, un verbo y luego un complemento. Ahora vamos a iniciar con el verbo to be. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Que vamos a crear eh, preguntas. Are you going to do anything this weekend? The verb to be is are. Next, we have the subject, you. After that, we need to include the auxiliary, going to. Then we put the verb do. Finally, we add a complement. Anything this weekend. And we put a question mark at the end. These are yes or no questions. So to answer them, it's quite simple. Just like you see on the examples towards the right hand side of the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Our next example. I'll choose the last question on the chart. Are the waiters going to sing to you? The verb to be is are. The subject is the waiters. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb sing. Finally, we add a compliment to you. And a question mark at the end. Now it's your turn to practice making statements and yes or no questions using be going to. Think about your plans for the weekend and write them down. Do as many examples as you can. Uh, all right. So now listen, the activity for you to develop is like making plans for the future. For what are you going to do uh, on the weekend? Lo que les va a quedar de, de tarea es que nos digan cuáles son sus planes para el fin de semana, por lo menos cinco actividades que ustedes van a, van a realizar, ¿ok? Recuérdense que es importante que lo estén poniendo en práctica. Um, I wonder if there is any question. Me pregunto si hay alguna pregunta. Yo tengo una pregunta. Eh, siempre se va a manejar siempre going to no cambia, aunque como en otras ocasiones, que cuando es you are, es de una manera, y cuando es, no. por ejemplo, she is, es de otra manera. En ambos es igual. Excelente, Reina. Excelente question. Eh, excelente pregunta. No, el, el, el going to se va a mantener siempre. Eso, uh, I am going to, lo único que va a ir cambiando es el verbo to be, ¿verdad? I am, you are, he is, she is, it is. We are, you are, and they are. Pero el going to se mantiene. Okay. Um, that's fantastic. Thanks for asking. Voy a pasar la lista eh, para que este, escuchar quiénes son los que están presentes. Lo voy a tratar de hacer rapidito para que si a, acaso eh, logramos eh, tener cinco minutos al final, podemos hacer un repaso. ¿Les parece? Yes, teacher. Ok, muy bien. Yes, teacher. Este es, por favor, este, todos estén listos a contestar para que no se me vaya a quedar nadie afuera de, 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 mi, de mi asistencia. ¿Alba? Here. ¿Alma? Here. Ok, Alma. ¿Carlos Ernesto? Here. Here Carlos. ¿Cecibel? Absent, Cecibel no está. Ah, oh, Cecibel is there, right? Oh, good. Christopher? Is Christopher there? Christopher Raúl. Oh, Christopher está ausente. Eh, Diana Gabriela? Present teacher. Ok, Diana. Eh, Fátima Elisa? Fátima Elisa Marroquín. Here, teacher. 
All right, Fatima. Gloria Carolina. I'm here. Good. Hector. Adalberto. Okay, Present. Hector. Very good. Iris Elizabeth. Present teacher. Good, Iris. Uh, Irving. I'm here, teacher. Hello, Irving. Uh, Jorge Alberto. I'm here. Good. Jorge David. I'm here. Good, Jorge. Uh, Jose Enrique. Present teacher. Good. Jose Luis Castro. I'm here. Okay, Jose Luis. Okay, uh, Jose Oscar. I'm here, teacher. Good. Julio Cesar. Present teacher. Good. You did. Judith, uh, Catherine Judith. Okay, Catherine Judith, no, no la veo, no contesta. Uh, Catherine Roxana. Catherine Roxana. Okay. Uh, Pérez uh, Kenia. Present teacher. Hey, okay, Kenya. Katie Tatiana. Katie. Norma Hernandez. Here, teacher. Good. Rebecca Michel. I'm here. Okay. Uh, Reina Concepción. Present. Good. Salvador Galdames. Hello, Salvador. Okay, Salvador seems. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, Salvador, I saw you and I could listen to you. Uh, I have um, Sandra, okay. Present, teacher. Good, Sandra. Silvia Carolina. Present. Good, Silvia. Susana Isabel. Present. All right. Wilson. Present teacher. And Jenny. Present teacher. All right. So, you know, I still have like, a, like, como cinco minutos más. Okay. Pero quiero felicitarlos. Quiero felicitarlos por dos cosas. Primero, estuvieron muy atentos. Okay. Súper atentos al llamado y estuvieron participando activamente. Ok, es sumamente importante que lo sigan haciendo de esa manera para que eh, puedan ir sintiéndose como más confiados al utilizar el segundo idioma. Cuando surja la oportunidad de participar, les animo a que lo hagan, ok, que lo hagan, que no se queden con las ganas de participar, porque eso les va a ayudar a todos, ok. Eh, no sé si hay alguna pregunta o alguna inquietud. Con respecto a lo que decía de mañana que vamos a hacer de las respuestas, digamos que, por ejemplo, me preguntan a mí qué voy a hacer y yo le, yo le respondo, I'm going to market. No uh, sé si está bien. All right, I'm going, to, um, I'm, I'm going to go shopping, ok. Me iré de compras. I'm going to go shopping, sería una opción, ok. Lo que ustedes van a hacer, algunas cinco, algunas cinco actividades, eh, que ustedes van a hacer, eso va a estar perfecto. Me voy a levantar a las 8, eh, voy a ir a visitar a mi familia. O sea, usted lo puede, usted, le voy a dar una clave. Usted lo puede pensar en español. Eh, tienen todas las herramientas ahí con internet. Pueden usar Google Translator y el Google Translator se lo va a pasar al inglés. Entonces ya solamente lo copian y cuando estemos en la clase, participan, ¿verdad? Relevantan su manita y participan. De acuerdo, esa es una estrategia. Si alguien tiene otra estrategia, pues también es bienvenido. Lo importante es que aprendan. Me interesa mucho que ustedes aprendan. Teacher, excuse me. Okay. I am Edita Pérez, but you don't call my name. Ah, really? I, I can hear, I can hear. Edita del Carmen Pérez García. Checking, please. 
All right, I did it. Okay, don't worry because I did it. Ya lo hice. Okay, ya no te acaso Thank asistencia. You, okay, nice to no, thanks, thanks to you. Gracias a ustedes porque todo eso me ayuda. Me ayuda a que no se nos escape nada del curso. Ok, entonces ha sido un placer. Los voy a dejar por esta noche y espero verlos mañana. Bendiciones a todos. Cuídense mucho. Thanks. I see you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Right. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye. Thank you, sir. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Okay, goodbye. Hey, take care.